says you can't be fit for the holidays? I'm Callie Lewis, a gift guide for the fitness buff in your life or just anyone who's interested in getting in better shape. Welcome to Geeky. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Audible. Before we get into it, don't forget to fill out our survey so we know what kind of content you want us to produce. Geeky.tv slash survey. As you know, John P. and I started working with Jeff Dwelly and taught Abrams earlier this year to turn around what it means to be a geek. We learned how to become fit and stay fit. Well, for the most part, except when I go for months on end with bronchitis and colds and over and over, that makes it kind of hard. But John has actually kept on track. Bet you didn't think he could tear himself away from his gummies, did you? So, whether you're looking for a gift for somebody who's an utter fanatic about their health or someone who just wants to take part in John's challenge to not pig out for the holidays and find a balance, here are some options to make it all fun. Okay, so let's start with the elephant in the room. Fitness trackers. Wow, they're everywhere. It's incredible, really. All of them do similar things, track calories, steps, miles, sleep. Some do different things here and there. I have to admit something, though. I actually haven't found one that I like more than the Fitbit One. I know, it's so like two years ago. But the device and the app combined have stayed one of my favorites at $94. It's small, it tracks everything you need for a fitness tracker. Though, where did I put that thing? Yeah, it's kind of easy to lose. The days of fitness trackers is on its way out. In comes the fitness bands, smarter devices geared towards fitness that also connect via Bluetooth to your phone and can display incoming text messages and phone calls. Then of course there are the smart watches, a whole other topic. Anyway, John loves his Samsung Galaxy Gear Fit smart band for $150. It's beautifully designed and feels good. It's a bit too large for my wrists, because I'm a woman, I guess. And I imagine a lot of women, that's the only reason that I don't wear one. But it has great information, heart rate sensor, fitness information. You can see who's calling and accept or reject the call from the Super AMOLED display. See text messages, and there are a few apps for third-party services as well. Duran also just released a review of the Microsoft Band. Did we release that yet, Carter? No. That is coming soon. It's a brand new smart band from guess who? Microsoft. It's $199 and he likes it a lot. Go check out all the details at geekbeat.tv slash Microsoft Band as soon as we release that, which will be in the next, sometime this week. Yeah. At the gym, John, Scott Ellis, David Foster, and I all use the Polar FT7 heart rate monitor and watch. You strap the monitor band on around your chest and it feeds information about your heart rate and how many calories you're burning back to the watch so you don't have to drag around a phone's app all over the gym. It's $68 for the watch alone or around $120 with chest band and monitor. You could also use some Bluetooth earbuds to listen to an audiobook while you're working out. Keep your mind fit at the same time as your body. I love Jeffrey's J Jeffrey J's his name is hard to say. Jeffrey J. Fox's books on business. You know, short and sweet rules to live by. Anecdotes and ideas to get your mind all abuzz with inspiration to be better at business. You can try it for free at audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. A subscription to Audible would be a great gift for someone. In order to track the results of your efforts at the gym, my favorite scale is the Fitbit Aria. It's $110, looks great, it's very accurate. I've tested a lot of them. You can set up eight users and it'll be able to tell the difference between each of you as you weigh in. Then it'll feed that information via Wi-Fi back to your Fitbit account so you can track your progress. It'll do both body fat percentage and body mass index. Or you can use the Hexoskin Biometric Shirt. It's an underlayer that's made out of polymide micro and spandex that has sensors built in to track your heart and your lung activity. It has built-in Bluetooth to feed information back to an app that'll help you understand your body better. Now, here's the thing. You really have to want to know what your body is doing at all times because it's 400 bucks. For half the price, you could get the Sculpt Aim. I loved this thing when I saw it at CE Week in New York earlier this year. You hold it against your skin, and it'll calculate your body fat percentage and muscle quality. It analyzes 24 different muscle groups to know when you're losing fat and gaining quality muscle. This is way easier than the calipers, especially trying to use those things on yourself. Ugh, not fun. Now, it's a pre-order at the moment, but they promised to ship in December, so hopefully? 
If you prefer to get your exercise on the slope, you could take a pair of Oakley Airwave GPS goggles with you. I mean, I'm not sure that it's a stocking stuffer item at $650, but it's cool. Inside the goggles is a heads-up display that it'll show you your speed as you fly down the slopes. It'll analyze your jumps, it'll play music, it does all kinds of things using the GPS built in, the accelerometer, the barometer, gyro sensors, and Bluetooth. Just please, 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 don't get distracted by all the information that you missed the branch sticking out of the snow. At home, you can always get a little extra exercise, even if you're stuck at the desk working. The Desk Cycle won an Editor's Choice Award from Ben Rethig this year. It has a small footprint for storing under your desk and allowing you to cycle while typing. Or hey, even while on a conference call. You'll be able to track your speed, the time you've spent cycling, how many calories you've burned. At $149, it's a great way to stay in shape, even when life just gets in your way. Now, if you can manage to take a short break at home, get a BOSU ball. I personally love these things. At $100, it's not an impulse buy, but it keeps me active while at home. You can do all kinds of exercise on it, from ab and core work, to push-ups, to just standing on it to increase your balance. Use it while watching TV, and hey, it even makes a great cushion for leaning up against if you sit on the floor and watch TV. You sit on the floor, not the recliner or something? Yeah, I, I like sitting on the floor. Is that so wrong? Of course, at work, you can always keep the exercise going with an up desk, sit, stand desk, stay in motion throughout the day. It's a motorized desk with presets for whatever heights you like to work at. We all use them here at the Geek House and thoroughly love them. They even sell a specialized Geek Beat version that has cup holders, a UPS mount for under the desk, and extra garment holes for all your cables. Okay, I think that's enough talk about exercise. Now let's get out and do it. If you need some motivation, follow John's Google Plus page and join in with the Geek Beat community to stay fit during the holidays. Our chat room is always active at geekbeat.tv slash live, or you can join in on the Google Plus Geeks community and find friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with us every day. We love you guys. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. On today's holiday gift guide, we're giving you all kinds of ideas for what to give somebody. Raspberry Pi has been the hit of the hacker slash makerspace community. It's a so tiny I thought, you know what? Let's make today's episode a behind the scenes update.